Hello and welcome internet. My name is Ryan, aka Ryman, and this is Katawa Shoujo. But you should probably already know that, unless you're new here. And if you're new here, silly man, or girl, you're a bit ahead in the series right now. I would suggest going all the way back to the first episode of this particular season, or maybe yet, even the first episode of this whole entire saga. Where was I the last time I was here? Memory's failing me! Regardless. Ahem. <clears throat> The moment the bell rings out, a collective sigh of relief comes from everyone. Ugh. I combined a sigh with a burp. Professionalism. Much of the morning has been taken up by a droning lecture on... Stoic... Uh, chemistry? A topic uh, entirely unbefitting uh, the insufferable heat uh, permeating the classroom. I've never heard of that. <laughs> never mind. Knowing that attempting to teach anything more would be an ex exercise in futility, Mutao gives up and begins clearing the teacher's teaching material from his desk for the day. So he's collecting all of his scotch bottles. Hey, how's it go? How's it go, girl? As meaningless banter starts filling the classroom, I notice Hanako getting up and coming to my desk. <laughs> She's been a lot less uh, withdrawn lately, something which gives me a small measure of satisfaction. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Preparing my voice. Hold on. <sighs> Fortunately, she's very easy to do. <clears throat> Hisao. Hey! Wanna go pick up Lily then? It's close to the time that she needs to get going if she's going to make the flight. Um, about that. She said she might be held up a bit by her classmates. What is. <laughs> Did Kenji, like, fortify the room and is beginning the his assault? Uh, I suppose that makes sense. Her class usually gets off a little early than ours, so Lily would normally have to come to our classroom. Her class must be, uh, uh, sending her off. Well, never mind. We can wait outside her classroom for once, right? She gives a small giggle before nodding, the two of us taking our things and leaving for 3-2's classroom. When we reach our destination, I stop in idle amusement at the scene inside. One of the shorter girls from the class has uh, Lily wrapped in an enthusiastic hug, her head no oh, higher than Lily's chin. Her other friends, of which there are several, are gathered around her as well. Lily simply smiles kindly and hugs her back. I guess Lily must be pretty popular compared to Shizune's harsh but fair dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Of 3-3, three, three, Lily seems to be more of a mother figure for 3-2, to say nothing of her height and looks. Kenji's uh, pointedly cool demeanor as he packs up his, his things at his seat in the back of the corner of the classroom is expected. He's no doubt far from a fan of the fuss being made of Lil about Lily's leaving, which I'm surprised why he's taking his time and leaving then. Looking be oh, he's probably... Knowing Kenshin, he's probably... Spying? I don't know with him anymore. <laughs> Looking beside me and seeing Hanago following my gaze, I decided to, leave. I decided to finally enter the room. <laughs> Afternoon, Lily. It's just me and Hanako. Hanako and I. Damn it, it's Sal. <laughs> Hanako... Hanako withers noticeably when exposed to the din being made around Lily. Try as she might, I doubt she'll ever completely get over her social anxiety. None of us ever will, Hisao! None of us ever will. I still twitch a little bit when I'm around people I know! Let alone strangers! I'm lucky I don't just start flailing and 
punching random directions, which I've nearly done on several occasions, but that's a story for another day. Hello. Lily manages to work out our position reasonably well. Her classmate uh, detaching herself without a second word. A look of slight... Oh my god. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I should start slapping myself repeatedly before every recording session, no matter what it's going to be. Ryan, why don't you stop doing late night recordings? Well, because, boys and girls, I, I work like 10, 12 hours just in construction throughout the day, so... This is when I get to do it! A look of slight you know, exasperation is written on Lily's face, though I can't say I blame her. At least you're easy to do as well. Hello, Hisao, Hanako. Do we have much time before the flight leaves? No, bitch, we gotta go! <laughs> I give a quick glance at my watch. Uh, taking the trip to the airport into account, there's a good 10, maybe 15 minutes left while, while we're still allowing for our contingencies. Yeah, we still have a few minutes to kill. I wouldn't worry about missing it yet. Ah, is that Hanako? Classmates? Why would they point out Hanako of all people? Uh-oh, I think we just inadvertently become entangled in Lily's social web. The girl is probably part of the legally blind faction. <laughs> faction? <laughs> The girl is probably part of the legally blind faction of the class, like Kenji. Given her almost windowpane-like spectacles, her short, roughly cut hair gives her a, a look that fits her excitable expression. Are we going to get a picture to this description we were just given? Uh, hello? Uh, um... She takes Hanako's hand and, uh, and puts it up and down enthusiastically. Wait, the random girl? No, don't do that, she'll stab you! She's probably fighting every every little tiny fiber of her being not to panic and just start doing Hanako things. I really don't get how girls can be so social as someone they've known only as a friend of a friend. Yeah, that's a good question, actually! To any of the chicks who are by chance watching this, and I doubt there's a whopping 0.2% even. Why is that a thing? I'm gonna have to text Jane. Though Jane's probably mad at me right now still because I keep butt dialing her at work and she has to keep hearing butt conversations. <laughs> While Hanako exchanges nervous greetings, I look around the room for my a short and overdressed next door neighbor. Try as I might, he seems to have slipped out of the classroom without anyone noticing. Good for you, Kenji. For a moment, I try to think of a possible career path that could reasonably benefit from his single skill before putting my mind to more permanent uh, matters. Lily seems pleased. Yes, I know I fucking misspelled. I misspelled the. <laughs> Lily seems pleased, if somewhat guarded, about her, the enthusiasm Hanako is suddenly ex uh, excited from those around her. She might not see it, but Hanako is much less panicked about the affair than I anticipated. Shuffling my way through the gaggle of classmates, I eventually managed to reach her. Don't worry, Hanako's fine. We say as someone's probably getting their chest slit right, wide open from a knife. Thank you. I thought she might be overwhelmed by them. Probably not the best choice of words, but okay. Don't worry, we'll be gentle! <laughs> Probably not the best way I've read that line, either. Both of us grimace in unison. Hanako's nervous grin stays plastered on her face as another couple of girls move in to meet her. They're like... People, like it's it's called a personal bubble. I need about a space of like ten feet or so from strangers, so that I can at least so that I can feel comfortable and not just start feeling the urge to flail. 
It's kind of amazing that even just a month ago, she'd never been able to cope with a situation such as this. Even when I first met her, the two of us completely alone, she sprinted from the library. So... Got everything you need? It's all packed. I just have to go by my room to pick it up on the way. And Hanako and I need to change. Then I guess we better get the fuck out of here, then. Hanako? Hanako's head flicks up towards us in a flash, her face rather unmistakably appreciating the chance to extricate herself from the small gang gathered around her. C-coming! The long taxi ride to the airport is surprisingly pleasant, despite the three of us being rather squashed together to fit in the small back seat. On the other hand, my... <laughs> Uh, maybe the spite isn't the, the right word. Lily pays for the fare to the driver as we file out, Hanako's eyes flittering left and right. Thankfully, there aren't too many people around, most of them being inside the main building rather than milling around outside. Oh god, it's back! Isn't hard to spot a Kirin? Hedi... Hedi... I can't remember how to correctly pronounce your fucking name, dude! So I'm gonna skip it for now. Leaning against a fence while take, talking to the to pass the time, a large black travel bag, complete with wheels and travel handle, leans against the fence along with the side them. Hideaki? I'm gonna go with Hideaki until I uh, something. Don't give me that surprise look, you twat! I'm gonna go with that pronunciation until someone, like, Probably Aaron corrects me. The first to notice us, pointing us out to Akira, who gives an overenthusiastic wave. Hey, hey! I grab Lily's travel bag from her as we go to meet the two, earning a nod of appreciation. I've got all my stuff here. Er, you got yours? Plane ticket as well. Don't worry, I have everything. You? Yep, all ready to go. I don't remember what I did for your voice. I shouldn't dwell on this for too long. Not without... No, that... You don't deserve the nasally Kenji voice. So fuck it! Not without getting some problems along the way, I might add. What is the fa- What is that face?! <laughs> what is both their faces?! I understand probably not everyone can see the, the cursor going around. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, what is with the both of the, of the faces? I can see veins popping out of her face! <laughs> this is my remark. As his head roughly dragged around on my firmly clamped on hand. <laughs> yeah, I kind of sort of forgot it was in my trousers pocket. Trousers that I put in the wash. That's, that's a you problem. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, don't worry. Did you know you can print out tickets if you order online nowadays? It's really cool. Hideaki's pain expression says this wasn't a solution found quickly. It could have been worse, I guess. We'd better start off then. Check in should be ready by now. Yeah, you're right. There's a certain amount of wistfulness in both their voices, to say nothing of the people left behind. Meeting their family again after all these years would be a big for them. Lily? Hanako wraps uh, Lily in a gentle hug to say goodbye, one which is warmly recuperated. Lily and I share a brief hug afterwards, each of us saying our goodbyes. Besides us, Sakira and Hideaki break off from a small uh, hug and a word or two between them. They would probably look quite nice if enough for the almost comical height difference between the two. Lily takes a hold of her sister's arm, once all that needs to be said in farewells is said. <laughs> mm. 
professionalism with that belch, I'm sorry. <laughs> the two walking past the, the huge glass doors. Goodbye, Hassal. Hanako. Oh, Lily, it's not goodbye. It's like a see you later. See ya. Don't do anything stupid, shorty. We wave at them until they disappear from sight in a throng of people moving about inside. And then, we're alone. Well, that's that! I turn to see Hideaki already beginning to walk off. Like, fuck that dude. See ya! See ya! <laughs> he throws a hand into the air in a matter I expect of Akira. In the end, it's just Hanako and I left standing outside. I rest my hand on her shoulder. She absentmindedly gazes towards the front, uh, uh, front doors of the building, as if she might catch a glimpse of either of the two before they disappear. Don't worry, the time will pass fast. Want to pretend? We want to go back to your place and pretend we're in season one? <laughs> If you're if you didn't catch season one and, and if you're new to kind of shoujo, you're not gonna get that. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> that is probably the greatest worst pickup line I've ever come up with. <laughs> Oh my god. She hesitates for a moment, but eventually nods. With the scorching heat of the summer sun beaming down on us, we make our way to the nearby bus stop. It's strange, really. Just when I begun to see Lily differently, she leaves and what almost feels like a pilgrimage to the past. Gotta get back. Back to the past. In a way, though, that's just the way it, what I've been doing since coming to Yamaku. As much as I may reflect on everything that's happened to me, I really am hardly unique. Everyone has their own circumstances and, and separate paths to get where they are now. Yet, I still can't really work out how I should proceed. My life may have uh, practically been reset, but I still can't find anything that uh, satisfactorily fills the hole I still feel in myself. Don't get so deep on me now, Hassel. Maybe Lily's leaving would be a good thing for me. Without her to lean on, I'll need to do more for myself. I'll have to be there for Hanako as well. It feels strange to have such a change, to have so much changing so quickly after my months in that hospital that seemed to exist so separately and from reality. But that's all the more reason for me to keep focused. I can't let my any opportunity slip out of my fingers and attempt to rebuild my life. And we fade out. <clears throat> Oh. Act 3. The present. That's Hanako's hand! This is a kid's cute. This is cute. So, we finished the chapter. We finished an act. And I haven't really been doing this for too long. I think I can keep on going. But before I do, quick intermission for myself to see if I'm even still recording. Because OBS likes to be a fuck twat. And then probably a potty break. Hold on, be right back. So it's going to be a little interesting figuring out how this is going to go on. The love story, I mean. What I mean by that is, back in Season 1 with the Hanako route, uh, the whole, like, actual love connections really started to come out in Act 3. But the thing is, Hanako was there. Lily is fucked off to Legoland. Not gonna know unless we move forward. Come on. 
I rest my chin on my head as I absentmindedly look out the window. Yet another of Mateo's lectures droning on and on as if it were endless. The summer sky is almost alluring in its bright, uh, cerulean splendor. Only the odd passing cloud breaks up the deep blue expanse. This feeling of longing is probably the outdoor her side of me, yearning to escape. You have an outdoor side? Nakai, could you answer this? No, I could not! <laughs> that side of me is lost to the past now, though. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait! In that case, I think it would use the... <laughs> suffix? That was right?! The last time I tried that attempt at answering a question that I didn't know the answer to, I ended up raising an army of the dead. But that's a different story. <clears throat> Correct. Moving on. The suffix for... As my attention towards Mateo slips once again, I spot Misha giving me an enthusiastic thumbs up. And and not her to settle her down. It's like you bullshit your way through that beautifully. I know, I've almost made an art out of it. It's been a handful of days since Lily left for Scotland. Days which have passed relatively peacefully. Life largely continued as usual, in contrast to what I'd expected. What did you expect? While thoughts of her have danced around on the edge of my mind since she left, Present events managed to subdue them, at least for the time being. So I found myself idly chant hitting with Hanako, as usual when lunchtime finally rose by. Are the later ones in the series good as well? Not really. Probably best off just sticking to the original. His later books didn't live up to it, other than maybe God Emperor. Thanks, I, I wasn't really sure if... In the words of Kratos... Boy! What do you want? As Hanako steps to the side, I see Shizune stride up in her typical business-like manner, flanked by her ever-present bright-haired shadow. Try as I might, I can't read any hint of their intent from their faces. Shizune's poker face and Misha's seemingly boundless cheerfulness are a devilish combination. And we chose to engage. Okay, so let's do this. Morning, Shizune. Misha. Um, hi... I accentuate the green with a nod to Shizune in order to get the point across. She promptly and curtly returns the gesture to both of us. It's been a long while since I really talked to either of them. For a while I thought they might be avoiding me, but I eventually come to the conclusion that Shizune really isn't the type to do so. <clears throat> oh boy. <sighs> Ellipses! Morning! Shishin says I'm sure wants to see you sometime. Because of this statement, my face contorts as if I just eaten spoiled food. Giving Misha no end of amusement. <laughs> Anyone think... <clears throat> Anyone think you were in trouble here, Sam? One of these days, one of my family members is gonna walk in while I'm doing a wah ha 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 in the Misha voice, and I'm not ready for that conversation in my life. I'm not. Ellipses. You might not be aware of it, but you have have the least to worry about, sir. Uh... Take it from the top, Ryan. I I, I know you're losing your mind, but. Stay focused. You may not be aware of it, but you have, have the, the least to worry about of anyone in the crash. What an unexpected vote of confidence. 
Even Hanako nods hesitantly to affirm the point. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. There was something I wanted to ask you, though. Why? <laughs> Dear Lipsies, And what might that be, he saying? Yes, Sal. I have a feeling this won't go over well, but here it goes. His... His... Sal. His... Sal. Is there any reason why you and Lily don't get along? It seems like there's even a little, uh, civility would help you pull in your duties. His sow! His sow! His sow! This is, this is a case where you see the landmine! You see it! It's not even buried! In fact, there's a sign above it, and you chose to just jump up into the air and land on it. It's at this point I wish I could manifest in physical form next to you, grab you by the shoulder, shake you violently before throwing you out the window, and then jumping out myself, giving a, a salute to the rest of the class, saying, Adios! Shizune's cold stare after Misha happily signs the words to stop me in my tracks. In hindsight, I really could have worded that better. Yeah, she's got the right idea. I see her slinking off to the side, trying to get out of sight. Out of the corner of my eye, I'm sure I see Hanako move back just a little. Thankfully, Shizune notices this and lets her temper dissipate as she forcefully runs her hand through her hair to let off steam. Perfectly on cue, Misha begins to interpreting the second uh, machine. Shizune's arms begin to move. Ellipses. <sighs> you did this, so. I would say that such matters aren't relevant to you, but since you seem to have befriended Lily. She pauses to adjust her glasses, evidently attempting to articulate her, her point in the best possible manner. Ellipses. While I assume the same of her, I cannot call my own views on the matter unbiased. Suffice to say, we're close. We were closer before than we are now. What were you two combined, Helen Keller? Oh my god, I really hope the younger audience understands the beauty of that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Shizune makes a quick gesture to Misha to stop her from interpreting. Then, as a quick meeting uh, with her before proceeding, the fact that the two can communicate so easily yet so secretly right in front of us is slightly disconcerting. Uh, Hanako seems to share my curiosity of the proceedings, looking on with a thinly masked interest. As they finish their own apocalyptic conversation, Misha looks slightly deflated. I guess her opinion on the matter wasn't followed. She Shan says that you should ask Lily about it, that she doesn't want to be the one that gets you involved. Uh, well, I'll just have to ask her after she gets back. At least I got some information on Suzune. The two having been on close terms mean... They weren't always at each other's throats, or at least not quite to this extent. I understand. Thanks anyway. <clears throat> okay, goodbye. With a nod and farewell, oh, the two break away and walk out of the door, no doubt headed straight for the student council room. Could have gone worse, I suppose. Hanako lets out a long breath, relieved of the uh, confrontation solution. Resolution! <clears throat> I can't say I blame her. I'll see you later then? Yeah, I'll meet with you in the tea room. See ya! With that, she waves and joins the trickle of students leaving the classroom. Fuck! Nikai, could I speak with you for a moment? Delivered in his typical monotone manner, not in the way that I fucking read his lines, he apparently does uh, decide that I need her monitor to see him already. 
Eventually, I finish packing up my things. By the time I reach his desk, the classroom is close to empty. Uh, yes, sir. He looks up, taking measure of my face before giving an awkward, rather oblivious act to chuckle. <laughs> no need to feel guilty. You're not in any trouble. I just want to ask you something I've asked a few other students so far. That's something, at least. For a moment, I thought my my maximum of keeping my head down and pen up had failed me. So what did you want to talk about? To start with, what do you think of your progress in this class so far? Good? Bad? Adequate. <clears throat> I detest that kind of question. For a fair amount of time, I try to think of a response that is neither pathetically humble nor cocky. Adequate! I'd say I'm doing okay. The work doesn't seem too hard, and I'm doing uh, better on the tests than I thought I would. That's a good answer. A correct one, too! I give a mental sigh of relief at his satisfaction. To say that I uh, don't gain a little pride from his comment would be a blatant lie. And the maelstrom of thoughts clouding my mind after learning that I'd be transferring to Yamaku, my school grades seemed to utterly unimportant. Being entirely clueless as to what uh, skill level uh, would be assessed of me, assumed of me, assessed of me, assumed of me, once I actually got here, I was usually re relieved when I found out I understood well enough the schoolwork we'd be going, we'd be doing. Oh my fuck. I know your circumstances might have thrown a wrench in the works, but have you given any thought to your future? Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. My future? What would you like to do as a profession? Do you have any thoughts on where you... On what you like to be in 10 or 20 years time? I wouldn't be surprised if you covered this ground in your previous school, but I don't have any record of it if you have. I suppose the last year of school is time in when students would need to be thinking about such things. To be honest, I really haven't lent uh, too much thought compared to my immediate situation. Catching on to my thinking, Toast speaks up. It's okay if you haven't decided on anything specific yet. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of your classmates were still undecided after all. Maybe prefer pursue one of your talent Talents? I'd like you to fill me in on that one, Chief! He, he's rather oblivious, obviously trying to squeeze an answer out of me, and something about his previous wording makes me suspicious. He didn't seem to be intent on asking everybody like this, so he must have some kind of selection criteria. That I guess are grades in his class. Well, something in science might be a path of least resistance? His face brightens, no doubt pleased at the thought of a prize student following his subject as a career path. Good! Having a general idea is the first step. I would advise you to think on it. it uh, I will. Things are kind of settling down, which will help. Good to hear. And when I've noticed that... Yep. That's all you got. Give me a second here, man. Ikazawa's attendance and grades have improved since you came to be friends. I'd like to thank you for that. I'm surprised you noticed that we knew each other. He gives a chuckle as awkward as his smile. This guy really has no idea how to properly act around others. Every facial movement seems like an act of carefully but misdirected choreography. You could say that I have a general idea. Of who knows whom and is part of a teacher's job. Catching himself before he goes off on a tangent, he loudly coughs into his hand. I'm sure you have things to do, though, so I'll stop there. Please do think about where you're headed from here. As you don't have long before you finish high school. I will. Thanks. The brief talk ended. I take my leave. He goes back to fussing with the teaching materials on his desk. This is one of the times I, I'm envious of Lily, almost maddeningly so, to have one's future so clear and so assured, yet working towards it from such a young age. It's an idea so utterly 
irreconcilable with my own thoughts, merely in the present day, just as they have always been. Ah, we reached the end of a chapter. I'm looking at my time. We've, we've tackled quite a bit. What happened to my voice there? Right. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it. Mm. And that's when the tiredness kicked in. <sighs> Folks, I'm going to wrap it up here for the night slash day, whenever the hell you're watching this by chance, from wherever you're watching this. If you did enjoy yourself watching slash hearing me fumble my way through this bizarre adventure, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Every last little bit helps. <laughs> Tell your friends about it, tell your family about it, tell your co-workers about it, your schoolmates, whatever. Follow the Facebook page if you want to keep up with all the news and the content that goes on with this entire empire that we've got going on right now. And speaking of that, empires that is, if you want to be part of a fun little friendly community, why not hop on board the Discord channel? Links for all this stuff is in the description below. As I awkwardly point downwards as if I have a camera because I don't. And people can't see me when I wave my hands around like I'm doing right now. <sighs> right, we got to have a long talk about this. A really long, awkward talk about this. But I'm not going to do that right here. Because I don't... Because the conversations that I need to have with myself do not involve people here. Adios, people. Stay awesome, please. I'm a I, I, I'm a mess. <laughs>